What is up guys, Marcel here. Uh, first of all, I want to apologize for not making a video in such a long time. I've been really busy, and also I've been really lazy. Yeah. Alright, so anyway, I'm going to teach you how to change your NAT type from moderate to open. Now, the first thing I want to explain um, is pretty much how the NAT type works, and just to prevent some confusion that may happen. Alright, so... On the PS3, there are two. There are pretty much two NATs. The first NAT type being NAT types one, two, and three. Uh, NAT type one is when you have your PS3 directly connected to the modem, and NAT type two and three are when your PS3 are connected to a router. Um, I don't know why you would get NAT type three. I think maybe because maybe your router kind of sucks. But uh, if you're connected to a wireless router, NAT type two is the way to go. So, um, and the other NAT type is open, moderate, or strict. So there's basically a NAT type within the NAT type. So that's pretty much how it works. And as you can see, the NAT type is moderate. I'm going to teach you how to open it so you can connect to people a lot better. Alright, so you can hit the PlayStation Home button. Go to Settings, Network Settings, Settings and Connection Status List. Scroll down, and there you go. Um, there's the IP address for the PS3. It is 192.168.1.110. Yours is probably going to be different. Uh, really doesn't matter which one, whichever one it is. Uh, and also, I will be doing this on the Linksys router because that's the only router that I own. So, go figure. Alright, so I've pretty much copied down the last three numbers or memorize the whole thing if you want. But I think you only really have to memorize the last three numbers. Did I say letters before? I think I said letters, but, uh, yeah, retarded alert. Alright, so memorize the last three numbers, and mine is 110. And once you got that down, just pretty much gonna go onto the computer, so, um, I'll see you guys in a second. Alright guys, so as you can see, we are now on the computer, and first of all, I want to apologize for the extremely bad quality. It's gonna be really shaky, the camera, I know, I know. Um, I want to apologize for that first, I still haven't found a program to record my computer screen yet, but... Hopefully I'll find one soon. Alright, so uh, first thing you're going to want to do is go in your web browser and type in your default router. Mine is 192.168.1.1 and you'll have to do some sign in thing. Uh, the username is admin and the password is also admin. Like I said, this is for Linksys. You're going to go to applications and gaming go to port range forwarding and as you can see you're gonna make this right here it says PS3 you're gonna make that um, and you're gonna, just gonna type that in as the application name PS3 from start to end port you're gonna make it 3658 to 3658 protocol as both now put the IP address to your PS3's IP address and the number was, uh, for me anyway, it was 110. Go ahead and put that in, make sure it's checked. Hit save settings. And then go to DMZ, which is right there. Make sure it's enabled. Hit to any IP address. Then also put here 110. Save. Alright, and that's pretty much all you gotta do. Uh, so now we're gonna go back to the Dazzle and the PS3. And that's all you have to do on the computer. So I'll see you guys in a second. Alright guys, so now we are back from the computer, and we uh, just pretty much made the changes to the ports and the DMZ. So after that, you're pretty much just going to power off your system. As you can see, it's still moderate, so power it off. Just reboot the PS3, and we'll see if it worked or not. Alright, so it's off. Turn that back on. Now, um, 
for all of those who don't really uh, know the difference between mo open, moderate, and strict, um, it's always best to have moderate um, because if you don't have moderate, well, it's always best to have open. And the reason is because when it's when the NAT type is open, you can connect really to anyone, and you can get into games faster without waiting a while, and you won't lag out of lobbies. And if you have moderate, you know moderate's all right. You know if you have strict, and the best you can get is moderate. It, it's you know it's um you know it's you can as long as you can play really. It's all that really matters, but it's always best to have open uh, moderate. Uh, you can live with moderate. I mean, it, you can still connect to people, but uh, sometimes you'll lag out of the games. Um, you'll lag out of lobby sometimes. You won't connect to people. You might not even connect to your friends that well, and whatnot. So and strict, ju strict just forget about it. people have strict. You are pretty much screwed. You can barely connect to anyone. You may get a game once in a while, but um, I never had strict. I only had moderate. And then I finally fixed it, because none of the guys on YouTube really helped. So, yeah. It'll work for other people, but it didn't work for me. And this one finally did. Alright, so pretty much just going to connect online like normal, and we're going to see if it worked. And it takes a while to connect. My PS3 is kind of slow. Like, special slow. Alright, as you can see, the NAT type is now open. Yay! And now you can play your game normally. Alright, so that's pretty much it, guys. That's I just showed you how to uh, fix your NAT type from moderate or strict to open. Now, if this worked for you, uh, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. It really helps. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Send me your private message. Uh... If you have any problems, I'll try to fix it as best as I can. But um, I don't know if I can. I can't. I definitely can't answer every question that you have. But yeah, so enjoy your gaming, guys. Um, like I said, this worked. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot. I'll be making more videos soon. I'll see you guys later.